Hey everyone, this video is an overview of the Prime for Team Workgroup option and we'll explore how you can utilize the benefits of this account type to collaborate with third parties such as freelancers or contractors to work on the same project. Not every team may have highly skilled artists that specialize in specific tools needed to enhance a project like character modelers and ZBrush for example. In this case, a team may want to outsource those specialized skills to a third party. The Prime for Team Workgroup option provides an ideal solution for this type of collaboration by allowing for features like license allocation and project sharing. With Prime for Team, a workgroup owner can assemble a content pack containing custom assets using the packager, after which any workgroup member will be able to access this from their content manager after import. The work of both the main users and contractors can be shared with multiple clients, allowing for a more transparent and efficient workflow to accomplish your project goals. Assigning multiple contributors also allows you to speed up delivery time. Once you've signed up for Prime for Team, you can invite any potential member via email. As with all of the other workgroup tiers, the sign-up process will be the same once they receive the invitation email. The process is fairly straightforward, but for more details you can refer to the introductory tutorial for workgroups. Okay, let's explore the different methods available for file transfer and data exchange amongst workgroup members without pesky watermarks, so you can focus on your work. In this scenario, we have a workgroup owner and a workgroup member who is the end customer. In the first method, you can find your shared files via the File Explorer. In this case, our owner is making some tweaks to the project and saving it as a custom project in the Content Manager. To find the project file, you can right click on it and choose Find File. After that, you can manually send that file over to the client we'll be able to load up the project via click and drag from Explorer. In the second method, you can assign a custom folder in a network hard drive path to share project data. You can do this via the Content Manager settings, where you'll find a custom folder section. Simply hit the plus button and then navigate to the desired folder path to assign it. In this case, the folder is called 4Team. After it's assigned, the workgroup owner can navigate to that 4Team account in the Content Manager and save their custom project there, allowing all workgroup members to do the same once they add that folder path via the Content Manager settings. We touched on the third method in the introductory section of this video, which is packaging and sharing customized packs via the Packager. To start, the workgroup owner needs to multi-select all of the assets to include in the pack, then right-click and choose the Create Pack option which will then display the newly created pack in the Packager. From there, simply right-click on the main pack thumbnail and choose Export Data. Be aware that externally linked files like videos and certain textures will need to be reapplied by the end user. In this case, the workgroup owner is saving it to the same shared network folder. Now, in order for workgroup member Lisa here to have access to that pack, she needs to right-click in the Packager and select Import Data. She can import the pack to her own personal account library as long as it is assigned under the workgroup. After selecting the same network path folder, the pack will then transfer to her custom project folder. Now even though Lisa may not personally own the assets included in this custom pack, she will still be able to utilize and edit the project without watermark as she is part of the Prime for Team workgroup. In addition, she will be able to export everything to video without watermarks or other restrictions, as well as FBX format, so that other specialized workgroup members can edit the project further in their respective software. Be aware that if any workgroup member leaves the workgroup, they will no longer have the aforementioned access to the project and included content. Lastly, a couple of quick tips regarding workgroup setup. As a workgroup owner, you can edit all aspects of your workgroup in your account backend including the name, logo, and active members. If you are a member of a workgroup, you can select it in the Reillusion Hub before you launch any of your programs. With Prime for Team, both workgroup owner and admin membership tiers are able to manage the workgroup members. This includes adding members via the account backend. Again, if you're inviting multiple users at once, be sure to add commas between their email addresses when entering them in.
In the workgroup management backend, you can find and manage all the necessary information, including active applications, account emails, as well as each member's assigned role and status. That's it for this introduction to the Prime for Team workgroup membership tier. Thanks for watching, and best of luck in your projects.